is that essentially your biggest problem with the red pill community is that it's all negative it's all uh, Adam, insurance and it's all and, what and, could and happen bad and and they have to be real there's an incentive structure for it. I'm, I'm, I shared some of these people these numbers. I'm, I'm going to share some of these numbers with you. I did a video because it's so funny because the red pill community, those kind of guys, they're, they're so fickle and they, they love you when you bash women. But the, mo the, but the moment you share any objectivity, showing the both sides, now all of a sudden they're demonizing you, right? So, so it's very interesting that I do videos that are critical of modern men and modern women. I try to be as balanced as possible. I know for a fact my, my content will be weak if it's, it's imbalanced. So I like to do as balanced as possible. I did a video a couple years, a couple months ago called the um, 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 Why Women Today Are Not Marriageable. I did that video talking about some of the pr principles that I believe are true, why women have issues, and we can go on that for days. That video did over half a million views in two weeks. I did another video called The Sad Reality of Beautiful Women, talking about how sometimes attractive women have an air, air of entitlement about themselves that makes them difficult in relationship. Another video, half a million views. The reality of the matter is, in that month alone, I told the guys in the standard, I'm just being transparent and honest, with those two videos, and then Candace Owens coming on the podcast talking about the problems of modern women, we made $55,000 that month. 55,000 just doing a few videos. And I know almost everybody in the space and everyone shows me their money. And, I'm, and I was making the least of what everybody else was making. But when I do the other content, Adam, mm -hmm. the more balanced content, there's not clicks in it. There's not views in it. What type of content? Like, like, like let's say if I was do a video about, hey guys, here, here are signs, like let's say the five things to pick in a wife. Those kind of guys don't want to hear that. They want to hear five things wrong with women today. Yeah. That's what they want to hear. They want to hear more of the negative stuff. They want they want it reinforced. Like CNN. Like CNN does not want to hear five things great about Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Hell no. CNN don't want to hear that. Give me five things wrong with Trump. And so to me, when you're doing balanced content, even when you're doing male improvement stuff, because I think there's a difference between um, real male improvement, because it has to improve the lives of men. Fitness, emotional health, spiritual growth. When are you doing that? That don't get views. And, and views in my comments would always talk about this. That, dang, the girl stuff gets 10x the views of the male improvement stuff. And, and also when Fresh and Fit will tell you the same thing. When they do their finance stuff, they've always told me. I don't know if things have changed. They've told me when they do finance, dudes don't watch that, but they want to watch the girl stuff, right? Well, yeah. and look at the girls that they, they have. The Fresh and Fit, yeah. you know, I, I've talked with them and I told them I would love to do a one-on-one, -on -one, but I, I'm definitely the exception yeah, rule, so I'm yeah. not great for that. But yeah. they bring girls on there that are very I don't want to. I don't want to make it about fresh and fit because mm -hmm. nothing but respect. I don't like to criticize anybody who's not in the room. Gotcha. I was just bringing them up about the point of they told me when they do finance, the other yeah. guys don't watch mm -hmm. them. So my thing is that there's not a financial incentive. So if you're a content creator, Adam, and I'll give you an example, and you know if you do this type of content, you're making fifty thousand dollars a month. You do the other, you make six. Which one are you going to lean towards? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so as a content well, creator, um, yeah. who like I. I, this is our first time we're meeting in person. Sure. But you strike me as a person who's just telling it like it is, based on your life experience, okay? You don't seem like the type of person who's like, well, I could say this for clicks, but this does better. Right. Right. But there must be a little bit of element in that, maybe well, how do you do thumbnails or titles. Absolutely. So Hafiz is, yeah. is he's speaking not, very impassionately, making some very valid points. That's what he's talking about is absolutely true, but mm -hmm. what we have to understand is when you're doing content, you have to kind of pick a lane in the genre. I mean, if you go to OnlyFans and you start wearing a mother gown, you ain't going to get no clicks. <laughs> hey, there's a market. See, there's, a market there's, a mar there. there's a market you for it. You went the wrong place, yeah. Coach. I know. There's a market for it, but I don't see you doing that tomorrow. Yeah. But the reality is this. Yeah. Um, I have 12 YouTube channels, all right? And I, it, it, not all of them are this content. And it mm -hmm. is true. Those channels struggle if I'm doing something else. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's the reality of the situation. It would be like, um, the, I love the example that he gave. You wouldn't sell a house like this. Of course, no wise salesman would give you the negatives. Yeah. They would tell you something in order to make the commission. So in essence, mm -hmm. he's shooting himself in the foot. But on my side, I have to keep a lane and make sure people understand what that is. Of course, if I crossed over and I brought balance, uh, sure, it might fall flat on my audience because they may not be interested in that. However, I'm mm -hmm. going to say this and I'm going to add this. Many times if I brought on a female content creator and sat down and had an interview in a one-on-one, -on -one, 
most of the conversation, if we did bring the balance, will start leaning over to her. And people know this. They watch television. They see movies and stuff like that. Every one point that they would make towards a man to get him to pay attention, they'd have to make five or ten points for the woman. So it's kind of like, hey, you know, yeah, uh, CGA, you raining down on their head over here today. And then they would tell me to back off. All right, come on, man. We can't let them feel a certain way. And that's kind of just how it works. So I have to stay in that lane and be um, honest to the, to my approach. The minute I bring it over to the other side, then the other side's going to lean. And I'll just add this. If I really wanted to make money, I'll be out here praising the woman. I'll be out here uplifting the woman. I'll be a millionaire. I think it goes back to, to honestly, personal yeah. accountability, that, too, though. I've, people people consume. If you're going to sit there and consume the same content, that's, that's this their thing. Personal accountability. I, you know, I, I consume content that I generally align with, but I'm also very wise enough to know I should also consume content that counteracts with what I believe because otherwise then you never learn. And I think that's, I don't think there's anything wrong with staying, like you said, in your lane, you, you got your niche and, and that's kind of where you give people choices. Go. And oh, one more thing. If people wanted to watch finance, if I came on and I do some mm -hmm. finance related videos, but I don't have a finance degree, I'm just offering advice. If people want that, there's how many billions of YouTube channels out yes. there? They can find somebody else for that. And that's yeah. probably why my finance video won't get clicks. They know my lane and they'll want to mm -hmm. hear this information. People need to make sure they're having accountability. Well, I, 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 to circle back to what he says, and I love how passionate you are, bro. Mm -hmm. Life is all about balance, okay? If yeah. you're living in echo chambers, or if you're in extremists to any, any, whether it's politically, whether it's financially, you know, whether it's r romantically, any sort of extremist has major blind spots, major blind spots. So striking the balance, whether it's the East and West, whether it's the pros and cons of marriage, I think is important and it's a very nuanced discussion. A lot of people, oh, this is the way it is, it's black and white. Like Ali mentioned, there's a lot of gray area in all this. So if you like that clip, click right here to watch another, or if you wanna watch the entire SauceCast, click right here.